let's talk about timeline tools. So looking at my timeline right here, we have all these tools located next to it. So what does each one do? Let's start with the selection tool. The selection tool is the first tool. If you hover over it, you can see the keyboard shortcut is V. This is just like your move tool. So you can move things around on your timeline using that selection tool. The next tool down is your track select forward tool. Also the keyboard shortcut is the letter A. If I click on that tool, I can move everything to the right of that point down in the timeline. So you see, if I just move this clip, it moves one. But if I move this one, it also moves the second one. So this track select is really useful if you have a really long video and you're trying to edit a part in the middle of it. Instead of moving each thing down with your selection tool, you can use that track select and push everything down on your timeline. Next on the list, we have the ripple tool. Let's move these back so I can show you a little better what the ripple, ripple tool actually does. So the ripple edit tool allows me to move my clip in a way that it ripples the changes through the rest of the clips. So you'll see as I shorten that clip, it's still tightening it back up to the one in front of it. So it's not creating a gap in the sequence, it's making everything ripple. It's moving everything along the process. If I hold down on that tool with my left click, I can see the next tool in line is the rolling edit tool. So the rolling edit tool is similar to Ripple, except it creates a change to the clips around it. So if I shorten the clip on the left, you'll see the clip on the right expanded. If I shorten the clip on the right, the clip on the left expanded. So it's accommodating each clip by making those adjustments, not altering the, the end duration of the sequence. I'm gonna left click again. And my next tool is the rate stretch tool. So this change the duration, changes the duration of the clips. Since these are linked, if I minimize this clip, it's going to put all the content, the videography, and the audio in a shortened amount of time, but maintain everything else. So let's play it real quick and see what happens. I sound very squeaky because I compressed everything. So that is the rate stretch tool. Next on the list, let me undo that. Next on the list is our razor tool. So this just lets you cut things. So let's say I wanted to cut something where this marker is, and then I want to drag it a little bit and I want to cut again here. Okay, so I've just created two cuts in the sequence. I can select it with my selection tool and then remove that if I wanted to. Going down, we have our slip tool. So let's practice with this. If I move this down, you'll see it overlaps the original clip. So I'm slipping things around. I'm moving them back and forth. The next tool down, if I left click and hold, is the slide tool. The slide is similar to the slip tool, except it's changing the end duration of the sequence again. So I'm moving things around, but I'm changing the overall duration of the clip. The next thing on the list is your pen tool. Your pen tool is how you're going to create keyframes, which you'll learn about later. Keyframes are really how you adjust audio or effects within your timeline sequence. Moving down, we have our hand tool. Our hand tool is how you can move down the timeline, move back and forth on your timeline panel. And then the last tool is your text tool. It works just like every other text tool in your other programs. If you hold, you can see the vertical type and the other type options right there. So that is all of your tool options next to your timeline.